Students today are growing up in an age of digital literacy, and their expertise can be used to help teachers teach and students learn. The University of Southern California has developed interdisciplinary uses for multimedia that extend far beyond the creative arts. Multimedia is currently being used to teach subjects as diverse as literature or genetics. Multimedia really is, if not the, at least one of the most critical languages of our time. We're not talking about using multimedia to make it pretty for illustrations, that's nice, but what we're really talking about is using it to be able to conceptualize issues and to create knowledge in ways that we simply cannot do with linear text alone. Seven. So the concept here is simple, right? You're, you're, you're being introduced to the physical material world of Russian Embracing this approach, Dr. Boris Wolfson teaches his literature students using a multimedia course. My goal as a teacher is very simple, is to teach them to think critically and creatively. The surprising thing is that it's much easier than I thought using multimedia to get these students to be thoughtful. The appealing things about working with multimedia from a student's perspective is that you write a lot of papers in college and it's really, it's really refreshing being able to create an argument using different means than just printed text, just regular quotes, being able to draw in images, film clips, music, whatever you want really, and then producing something that in a lot of ways becomes more compelling. As an educator, I'd say I'm most surprised at how much the students converge media and technology and how savvy they are with the digital media. I mean, After Effects, Photoshop, uh, Flash, Premiere Pro, Illustrator. These kids have grown up using digital tools all their life. So they're all using the tools as we would use a paintbrush or a pen or any other media when we were young. Using these tools, students pair up with faculty in a university initiative to develop multimedia class content, such as the Russian Modernism course, the result of which is more engaging content and increased learning. The Labyrinth Project is a research initiative on interactive narrative and digital scholarship. In other words, it's not just to use the language of cinema in order to present something and make it look beautiful, but rather to use the visualizations as a mode of discovery. So this kind of collaboration ends up affecting both groups of students and really enriching what they can do. I, I really am a firm believer in interdisciplinary study. Dr. Jean Chen Shi collaborated with the Labyrinth Project and animation students to create the interactive science project, A Tale of Two Genes. If a science student and a cinema student working together, that's very wonderful because a lot of cinema students understand science and scientists also learn how to express the concept in a simple and effective way. And actually, this kind of thinking will stimulate better thinking about your research direction and research design. It was really interesting because before I could animate, I had to learn the science. In order to even storyboard it, I had to visualize it. And so it wasn't like just reading something. I had to really see it in my head. So that made it uh, even more challenging. Every time I teach night, just want to show this instead of the regular PowerPoint slides because I think it's very effective. I think the quality of communication is really enhanced by Adobe software because you, you're given these great tools to actually work across disciplines and to communicate complex ideas in a very simple, direct way. It's a ton of fun. The only problem is that it's almost sometimes too much fun and you forget that you have to work on your, your actual project. I have found personally that working with these tools has totally transformed my approach to teaching. Multimedia gives a whole new meaning to what a humanities education could be. And I think tools like the Adobe Tools allow us all to not just do it, but to get excited about doing it because we see real results. <laughs>